In the heavy rescue business, it doesn't get any bigger than this. This is a rotator. It can handle 75 tons. There is nothing bigger on the road. Jamie, what makes a rotator different than, say, Adam's Heavy Rescue 52? Well, I think the most distinctive feature is, is that the crane or, or the derrick actually rotates on a, on a pedestal or on a bearing set. So it gives the ability to basically send your hook and boom where you need the work done. And I guess what you want to be able to do is you want to be able to send one truck up that can tow away a rack. This mm -hmm. potentially is it's so heavy. I imagine it gets to a point where you can't really tow a lot with it, right? No, th this truck wouldn't tow on a day-to-day -day basis like a regular 25 or 30 ton truck like Adam has. This truck is very much just a recovery pig iron, big mule of a truck. That's so it, it is not a tow truck at all, really? Not really. I mean, this, this truck is actually licensed as an emergency vehicle. Is there a maximum, you know, sort of a combined weight, your truck and whatever you're towing, is there a maximum that you can take on a highway, so to speak? Yes, there is. So, so this group of axles here, um, basically this truck is up to weight on its own wheels. So, so it's we, already maxed out really. It's already it's maxed all... out without any carrying capacity. So what it is really is a, a quick response mobile crane with record, you know, record characteristics. And then Adam's truck is light enough that it can still take a pretty good load right. on its axles. Right, Adam's truck is the workhorse of the industry. In, in our industry, that type of truck will do 60 to 75% of everything that happens that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Which, which explains to me why I see Adam at so many wrecks on the show. Mm -hmm. he's, he's like a Corvette. That truck's quick and able to respond quickly. This truck's heavy, takes a long time to go to a job, but when it gets there, it means business. Awesome, thanks, man.